Griffin, welcome to the hard vacuum of space I, that is Rebel Galaxy. Um, thank you for having me, I guess, aboard your spaceship. It seems pretty utilitarian. It's not the slickest spaceship I've, I've ever seen. I don't mean to start the video off by talking shit about your spaceship, but um, I, I have seen better. <laughs> well, this is the starting spaceship, uh, so you will see better even as this video goes forward. It's it's not much to look at. Um, so what do I, tell me? Okay, so here's what I know about Rebel Galaxy. All right. It is uh, made by some of the people who did Torchlight and the one of the co-founders of Blizzard North. Mm -hmm. um, uh, all that in mind, doesn't look a lick of... At all, like uh, like Diablo or Torchlight or Fate or any of those games, um, so kind of a departure, I guess, for for the developers. It definitely is, but it, it shares a lot of the same kind of you know, loot mechanics more than anything else. I mean, one of the big parts of Rebel Galaxy is going to be running around the galaxy, starting fights, finishing fights, and upgrading your character and in this case your character is your ship is everything locked onto a 2d plane i, I noticed you're not really pulling a lot of uh, evasive maneuvers yeah you are, the the game is locked to a 2d plane um fighters smaller ships like one of the ones that we were just shooting at can move beyond the 2d plane but you'll never control a fighter um you'll be allied with a fighter you'll fight against fighters but you fly capital ships and they're locked on the 2d that's interesting. Does that not feel kind of restrictive after playing, you know, uh, playing playing games that that allow you the full like three hundred and sixty degree exploration? Well, the the way that they explained it to me, and I, I had some hands on time at GDC, um, it. it it's designed to play a lot like um, it's designed to play a lot like the bits of uh, pirate ship fighting from Assassin's Creed. So you're really maneuvering your ship to try and fire broadsides. You're zooming down and using individual turrets to try and uh, uh, repel borders and things. But it's 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 like playing with with a sailing ship more than it is a spaceship. The way they describe it. That's that's really interesting. That's an interesting idea for a space game. I'm not necessarily like against it. Like I, I think that it could lead to some interesting stuff. And uh, I think 360, you know, space combat games can get kind of complicated, just sort of keeping tabs on like where everything is to begin with. Um, so here you've got a little decision tree going. Well, yeah, they take some of those elements of, you know, games like Star Control uh, or maybe even like a Masters of Orion or something like that. And you can have little diplomatic conversations with people, even in the middle of a fight. The This ship here, Dead John, is one that I've been sent to go find. Uh, and as I enter his space, he kind of hails me and we have a little conversation. And, and I have the option. Do I want to pay to let me tell my boss that I knocked him off? <laughs> or <laughs> do I just want to do the hard work of knocking him off? And and we've decided to do the hard work here and, and go go to fight with him. I liked that uh, screen where it scanned and sort of gave you an idea of everybody you're about to be fighting. So, like, so, I mean, this really does seem pretty drastically different from other space combat games, like, especially in terms of, like, the interface. Like, it seems relatively um, straightforward, I guess, compared to, you know, charge your ion cannons and push energy to forward shields. Like, is there still stuff like that going on, or is it a lot more... Um, simplistic than that. No, there's a lot going on. And again, this is a starter ship. It's really only got, I believe, two hard points, one on the top and one on the chin. And then it's got some uh, broadside cannons, three on the left, three on the right. Uh, but you can have ships with 16 hard points, 32 hard points, I believe, and uh, multiple banks of broadside cannons. But then you've got additional systems on top of that. You've got your shields, you've got your armor, you've got your countermeasures, you've got um, uh, engines and, and extra propulsion systems like boost and things. Um, what that scanning that you were seeing earlier lets you do is it lets you kind of pause the action and it lets you give commands to each of the different subsystems on your ship. So what you're able to do is pause, take a look at Dead John, see what kind of gear he's got on him, and then say, all right, I want my turrets to focus fire on the fighters while I take direct control of the broadsides and light Big John up as I go by. And it seems like you did that very, very well. And you got some religious tracks as a reward, which doesn't seem like a great reward. 
lots of, lots of interesting uh, story driven loot in this one. Um, not do those? Can you fire those out of your broadsides and like, <laughs> spread, the, spread the good word? The, for the emperor, yes, blood for the blood god. <laughs> Um, so how much like space sim stuff is going on in, under the hood, like outside of that combat loop? Like, is there is there a like mining? Is there like exploration and mining and you know selling your loot to get bigger and better ships and bigger and better ship components? Or um, how, is 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 that element even in the game? Yep, you can definitely go in there and take a look at your spreadsheets. It's got little uh, helpful graphs to tell you, um, based on the amount of information that you have, what goods are selling where at what price. Uh, and then you can go into you know, the shipyard and actually customize your ship and buy new ships and put mining lasers on them and then go out to an asteroid field and blow up some asteroids and, and haul that loot home free of charge to, to sell as you will. That's, I mean, that's my favorite thing about these sorts of games but maybe that's just because like i've never really connected with a uh like a combat system in like a space sim before okay uh, yeah like I, I really do i like the idea I, I love games like you know freelancer and stuff like that um but i find myself getting like really quickly overwhelmed by overly complicated combat systems in in these sorts of games and <laughs> And I Hopefully think, that won't happen here. I think that that has a lot to do with why they kept it on the 2D plane, honestly. There's a lot of stuff flying around. You can have two, three allies. They've got their own weapon systems. You're fighting half a dozen different ships, small ships, big ships. For you to be worrying about all of that in three dimensions and taking direct control of individual turrets and the broadsides and controlling your ship, all of that at the same time from a controller madness i don't i don't think it would be as much fun this seems very focused and and i think that 2d plane helps it to that regard what kind of style are they going for because just based on the trailer it kind of seemed like they were leaning into the like firefly-esque like you're a you're an outlaw on the run and you you can lie cheat and steal just to make a buck oh um, yeah no, there's, there's pirates in this game. There's not just pirates. There's multiple factions of pirates. They want you to really get invested in doing dirty deals if you want to. But then you can be the, the straight-up paladin, too, and work for the military and protect the, the represent the law out on the frontier. You can really take it in either direction. One who, thing would, who would do the latter? <laughs> when you could be a space pirate. Well, man, the, the military has some great weapons, as do the pirates. So the certain ships and certain weapon systems you're not going to be able to unlock unless you're allied with a certain faction. Um, so you're going to need to do a little faction grinding with the pirates to get the pirate ships, but then maybe you can cozy up to the military and go back and do some more of those military missions. You can kind of play both ends of it. It's just, uh, you know, who's going to catch you with what type of cargo at what point, right? Yeah, Whether sure. you get in trouble or not. So here we're going out and visiting a, a research station, and this uh, scientist, who also happens to be a robot, wants us to go out and get some particular materials for him. He gives us two options. We can either mine the materials ourselves, or we can go and assault the trade caravan carrying the materials. Either way, he doesn't really care. He just wants them. So he's kind of a true neutral, uh, whereas some of the other factions are not quite as forgiving. Which direction did you land when you were playing this demo? I didn't really have all that much time to, to go out and grind the faction, but honestly, they both looked very viable and very interesting to me. Although, you know, who doesn't want to be a pirate? <laughs> I certainly do. Um, this looks neat. I'm, I'm optimistic about it. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I love the concept of these sorts of space uh, sim games a lot more than I actually like the execution, just because, like... Um, I, I don't know. I know. I, I I know it is certainly a genre that a lot of people adore. Um, it's just I don't know. I have a hard time resonating with it. But some this this combat system looks pretty accessible comparatively. So um, I don't know. It seems like a kind of thing I could get pretty deep into. Yeah, the only thing that I really stumbled across and had some questions about during my demo was, you know, some of the characters that you meet seem to be duplicated throughout, right? So I've got a, a mercenary that I've hired that looks an awful lot like this business contact that I'm going to go and talk <laughs> to at the same time. But but uh, Travis and company assured me that uh, they're they're working to flesh some of that out. Maybe it's like a cloning thing, you know, space in the future and stuff. When is, when is this game out? When can we expect it? This one is coming out, I believe, later this year. Uh, I'll have some more details in the, the show notes below.